Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Run It Up. As you can see here, man, we got some heat, baby. We got some heat. We're going to be taking a look at the brand new Jordan 6 UNC uh, that did just drop yesterday. We were able to secure a retail pair in stores, so we're going to take a quick look at these and see what they're hitting for, man. Got a couple all about my bitch, so keep the body by my side. It's a case, look. Right, so I'm sure many of you know or many of you don't know that this pair actually did shock drop on the Nike sneakers app like last week so it didn't drop on sneakers yesterday at all it only dropped on the other foot sites and everything like that online which pretty much meant it was GG's for anyone that was trying to cop manually so if you didn't get a pair in the retail stores via raffle or whatever it may be it was probably slow man it was probably slow man because getting a pair online is is pretty tough if it's not fit sneakers and if sneakers is your only hope to get them then i'm sorry I'm sorry <laughs> all right man but lately jordan has been coming through with the theme boxes and i mess with it, man i really mess with it the theme boxes just make it so much more aesthetically pleasing i don't know what it is man and especially if you do have stacks of boxes it makes it 20 times easier to identify what shoe is what because you can see the colorway the color theme on the box of the shoe which helps it narrow down tremendously man i'm not gonna hold you man. but um as you can see unc color box right here it's a classic jordan 6 box just with the classic unc color blocking instead of it being black because like the normal color boxes but got the spickle spackle at the bottom here that cement print this is a size 10 and a half not my personal size uh because i ain't keeping it Whew. these are a little fire man i'm gonna hold you man these are a little fire all right here we have it man the unc jordan 6 and these things are clean bro these are really really clean i don't know like i don't really need them but they're clean I, like i can't hold you they're a dope shoe i say that now give it like a few months a year or two and i'm gonna be regretting selling this shoe watch that's usually how it goes like in the moment i'm like yeah i don't need those nah, i'm good and then once i get rid of them i look down i'm like dang i probably should have kept those <laughs> that's exactly what happened with the um the unc jordan threes i had a few pair of those like and those were kind of hard to get i had a few pairs and they weren't here for anything crazy they were selling for probably about the same same as these like 300 after after the retail drop but i got rid of them and then i'm looking at them a few months later i was like dang those are kind of clean and then i look at the price and they're like four four fifty and rising right now i think they're probably about, about five hundred dollars so um i don't see these getting the five hundred dollars i mean not anytime soon who's to say in like you know 10 years or so because a colorway like this you know we don't know if it'll ever drop again when when jordan brand drops these random colorways this is probably like one and done i don't see this shoe ever retro again most likely um if they do it'll probably be a different you know different take on the uh the whole unc theme speaking of commas then them boys go right there so we got our classic carmine color blocking all over the shoe uh, basically exact same shoe just swap out that carmine red for unc blue and we're working with the exact same thing uh, obviously with the difference being there is no nike air on the back there is no jordan brand on the back it's this little jordan tag says you know quality inspired by the greatest basketball player ever so jordan got the little little 
little propaganda right there on the back. <laughs> Make sure this is a tag that's usually found like on the inside of sneakers, like behind the tongue. But uh, lately, Jordan Brand has been putting it on the actual shoe on the outside. I am mad at it, you know. It's a little different, different twist. A lot of people aren't a fan of it being on outside of the shoe, just because it, it kind of does throw off the whole colorway a little bit. But uh, I mean, it ain't too bad, really. But like I said, same exact color blocking as the Carmines. Uh, bottom, we got some icy, icy blue soles here. Got a UNC blue Jumpman with some white details down here. Moving up here on the midsole, this does look like it's black from far away, but this is a really, really dark navy blue. All these hits are really dark navy blue, so it's not black. In pictures, it might look black, but it's all dark navy blue because that's the UNC colors. It's that dark navy blue and then the, uh, you know, that light UNC blue. But uh, it does go very well together. I mean, you probably could pull it off as black if you really wanted to, like throw in like black jeans or something like that. I mean, it wouldn't, it wouldn't contrast too much. It'd probably go because it's that dark for a navy. Right, and then we got that UNC suede going all throughout the upper here, and all these little pockets. The suede, it's all right, man. It's all right. Definitely think the Carmine suede was. It's a lot better, at least on my pair, like I said here. Got your white leather. Leather is, it's all right. It's nothing crazy. Uh, there has been a lot of complaints on QC on these. They're not, honestly, the best quality. Uh, I would definitely say the Carmines were, at least the Carmines that I have, were a little bit better quality. Seemed like they were, seemed like they were made a little bit, you know, with more detail, with a little bit more love. I don't know, man, but uh, yeah, moving on to the tongue here. We got classic Jordan 6 tongue with the UNC hits. Got the zigzag pattern there. Got the light blue, the dark blue, the white. Uh, got your dark blue, navy blue lace lock. And then uh, light UNC blue lace cover over here white laces to match all the white detailing on the shoe really clean shoe man really clean shoe uh i'm not mad at it at all if you did decide to cop i know a lot of people are going to end up paying resale for these shoes because it was top it was tough to cop retail man it was pretty tough um i got blessed i got off the wait list on the flex uh raffle for champs don't know how it happened. Uh, I think that Champs and Foot Locker in general, they've been messing up with the app notifications. So make sure you're actually manually checking your app results periodically on the raffle days because they didn't send me a notification. I just kind of popped in the app and saw that I won and I had like, you know, 30 minutes to confirm. And I, <laughs> you know what I mean? I did as quick as possible. So make sure y'all are checking those, especially for shoes that you do really, really want. Uh, like I said, I'm not keeping these. I'm gonna be getting rid of these. Uh, right now, they're selling for about three, three twenty, three thirty, about a hundred dollars profit. So, uh, yeah, in and out the door. Dope shoe. Not something I need in my personal collection, really. Uh, I do got the Carmines right there. Those are my probably my favorite sixes of all time. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm really particular about just my UNC colored shoes. I did just uh, get the UNC Obsidian ones not too long ago uh, from a few years ago, which are almost same colors here. So not something that I need right here in my collection. I'm kind of going back and copping some old things right now. So things like this help me go back and pay for it. But that's all I got for y'all today, man. Let me know what y'all think of these. Let me know if y'all cop. Let me know if y'all took the L. And... We'll catch up with another one, man. Peace.